today is Sunday. Uh, we are just under two weeks out from the Olympia, and um, babe, come here, come sit with me. You guys might see her some other videos, but of course, gotta introduce Hi. the love of my life. We're gonna get all love each other day. You know why? Because Sunday is family day to me. And even though we don't have a ton of family here in Dallas, we're thinking about your family in New Orleans. Can't wait. Yep. We're thinking about moving back there. We're definitely moving back there. Yeah, we definitely are. We're just looking at houses. Do we want to build? Do we want to buy uh, something new? Do we want to go and rent there until we find something? So. We uh, have a lot of decisions to make, but um, today's YouTube video is all about film, babe. What body part are we working on today? Boom! Oh, wow. <laughs> Here's our little bullies. We keep them in this little area. They need to take a nap. Oak and Ivy. They are over a year now, but we keep them in here because Oak chews up everything. Show them where they chews up. Yep, yeah. look at that. Yeah, so Chews Oak will chew everything. walls, he eats walls. He's, uh, he'll eat anything for gains. Baby. You could have that thing. So guys, I just drove Jason to the mall to go shopping for Olympia. Here's all our bags. Watch where he's at. Passed out. All right, here we are. So now we're about to go work out. We're doing something a little interesting here. Um, I want to get my pre-workout protein in. I always try to get about 50 grams of protein before my workout, being at my body weight. People always ask me, oh, what protein should I eat? It's all based on your body weight. And a lot of other things, but um, so I just got some organic egg whites here. <clears throat> right now, I don't have uh, artificial sweeteners, too many. I mean, a little bit. I don't have too many, so I'm not putting dairy in my diet. We're about to get some dairy, so you're gonna see in a second what exactly I'm eating. So I'm just I, that's a little bit more in a cup. So we're looking at about 35, 40 grams of protein. And then what I do right now is two different things. This Mio Energy has a little bit of caffeine. Three, four, five, six. And then Flavor God Chocolate Donut. Love this stuff. And this stuff is like no sugar, so you can pour it in there. You got some flavored egg whites, so stir that up. I actually love this. It tastes like chocolate milk. Oh my God, it's so good. It's gonna be a coffee flavor. So here we go. Oh, so good, guys. All right, I'm gonna finish this, and then you're gonna see what my cheat meal is two weeks out before farm day. First time trying this, so milk and cream here, Dallas, Texas, Lower Green Valeria. The only thing I've had like this is uh, Afters ice cream, so let's go check it out, see if we can find a donut with ice cream in the middle. I think we're in the right spot. So glazed or not glazed, I have no clue, but look at this. Basically, you can you don't have to put it in a donut, but I'm going to, of course. Look at all these flavors. Sea salt caramel, coffee crunch. Oh, Bay Saint Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster? Uh, sea salt caramel. Sea salt caramel. Dang, lavender bean. I want to try all these. This is going to be an off-season hot spot. Check this out, guys. This is like gold right now. And uh, Bay, you got, we got to eat this. S sea salt caramel with Captain Crunch. Cookie Monster ice cream. It's basically like Oreos and blue ice cream with cookie cereal. I don't even know what that type of cereal is. And then I got sea salt caramel 
with uh no that's mine the cookies. oh that's yours yeah okay, you got the mine, cookie, yeah. okay so we're it's time to eat before it melts mm. guys we i want to let let me see you take your first bite all right see uh this is the non-glazed bun with the captain crunch and sea salt caramel ice cream Put, put. I gotta enjoy this. Downtown Dallas, we're at Gold's Gym. You yeah, guys can see that. Gold's Gym, Uptown Dallas. Get a mixture of people going to work out and a mixture of people partying. I used to be the guy that was partying, but now it's all about the pump. Being that I had a cheat meal, um, roughly, we looked up the carb and macro content, roughly about 110 grams of carbs in both those milky buns. Uh, and then I had 50 grams of so 160 grams of carbs today, coming off a depletion of 50 grams of carbs for the last six days. So you can't expect your cheat meal to fill you up. So today I will have a better pump than if I didn't have the refeed, but today's point is kind of halt muscle catabolism and make sure that I'm not too light and then also to speed up the metabolism. Um, we'll see if I end up getting the, the workout. But when you guys get the cheat meal, if you're gonna go stuff your foot self, so don't don't think that you're gonna have an amazing pump and workout. Okay, so it only, it didn't, I didn't really stuff myself, it was probably 700 calories, maybe I think 680 calories, but you know, right now, the point is why I'm doing this cheat meal is to boost the metabolism in basically a higher carb day. And I'm using donuts and ice cream as my choice of refueling. Got about five sets in, and uh, now I finally got a pump. I don't count my working sets until I have a pump or I feel the exercise. So that means I have three working sets left. So I'm gonna do eight sets total of this exercise to get the result that I want. A lot of you guys count your sets when they're just warm ups, and that's just priming, that's just getting the blood into that muscle group. Don't count those, count the working sets. Now I'm gonna try to reach failure, you know, something like that. This is when I'll count my sets. Looking shredded. Come on, baby, one more. Mm-hmm. 